Praise the Lord and uh, greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I strongly believe that God will definitely speak to us, he will minister to us. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you and praise your holy name. Lord, you are a miracle working God. And as your word says with God everything is possible. Lord, we pray may the Holy Spirit minister to each and every one of us. And Lord, open our eyes to see your glory, Lord. Open our eyes to understand your word and to receive your word into our hearts. And Lord Master, I pray for these precious people who were all expecting a breakthrough. Lord, I pray, Master, even as we worship, I pray may the Holy Spirit continue your good works and bring about breakthroughs and blessings, O oh Lord. You are a word honoring God, and we thank you, Master, for being in our midst and blessing us. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Right. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing, Holy, 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 Holy. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Out your power and love as we sit holy, 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 holy. I want to see you, I want to see you. We'll sing it again under the song. Uh, you are beautiful beyond description. Followed by that, we'll sing Majesty. You are beautiful beyond description. To marvelous for words, too wonderful for comprehension, like nothing ever seen or heard. Who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom? of your love You are beautiful beyond description Majesty enthroned above I stare I stare in awe of you I stare I stare in awe of you God to whom all praise is due. 
Jesus. Yes, Lord, you are a miracle working God. You are a mighty God. Lord, I'm a shakarala bini arazunu mini. Limarula masre rada da. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. There is power, wonder working part in the blood of the land. There is power, power, wonder working in the precious blood of the land. Working part in the blood of the land. There is power, power, the working part in the precious blood of the land. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Man. 
the working farm, in the precious blood of the Lamb. Yes, Lord, there is power in your blood. There's power in your blood to set us free. There's power in your blood to deliver us from all. And there is power in your blood to forgive us, to cleanse us, and to sanctify us, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. You are the comforter. You are the counselor. Rima Mama Shemiriliara la Kurabi. Nate ya son of Mina no. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. We adore you. Bring our lives before you. How we love you. Jesus, we adore you. Surrender our lives to Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. We pray, Master. We pray, Lord. We do not have the strength to go any further. Yes, my Lord. We do not have. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, my Lord. The strength or the will to go any further. But Lord, but Lord, we pray. Be merciful, O oh Lord. Amen. Strengthen us, O oh Lord. Lead us, O oh Lord. Counsel your ways to us, O oh Lord. Guide us step by step. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, my Lord. We put all of our trust in you. Yes, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Life, Lord. we glorify, we glorify in my life, Lord. we glorify today. Mighty God, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Yes, Lord Jesus, have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way, thou art the potter, I am just clay. Thank you for the immense love that you have upon us, O Lord. Amen, Jesus. Yes, my Lord. You are much concerned even for our minute details. Amen. Hallelujah. And Lord, it is our prayer that be glorified now, Mr. Lord. Sure. Only you can change water into wine. We pray, let, Master, let miracles happen. Whatever you have programmed for this morning, we pray, Master, may your hands unfold everything of it. We give you all glory, honor, and praises. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Right. So happy to minister to you yet again. And uh, it is a great privilege and honor to see so many of you in the video mode. And, uh, you know, I can easily connect with you when I see you. And uh, I believe there is a situation spiritually, there is a kind of situation, you know, because uh, I've got a message here, but the Holy Spirit is just speaking to me about something else. You may just wonder then who gave this message. This message also is given by the Holy Spirit, you know, but sometime when uh, when the Holy Spirit wants to uh, lead us in his own way, I think it is better to just uh, be in his presence and, uh, you know, just listen to him. And I believe he will definitely uh, do great things. 
because you know uh, I have a message, but the Lord is speaking to me something else. So I want you to turn to Luke chapter eight. And uh, I'm going to read to you from verse 49. While he was still speaking, someone came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher. Do not trouble the teacher. But when Jesus heard it, but when Jesus heard it, just underline that, but when Jesus heard it, he answered him saying, do not be afraid, only believe, and she will be made well. She will be made well. And the Holy Spirit is just speaking to me, underlining this 50th verse, but when Jesus heard it. Praise the Lord. So, at the very first outset, I want to tell you, please, please allow Jesus to hear what you are hearing. Praise the Lord. Amen. See, you must allow God to hear what you are hearing. Praise the Lord. Amen. Miracle happens not when you hear something, but when you make God hear what you hear. Praise the Lord. And how that is possible. You know, in this incident, Jesus was very much, you know, moving on the face of the earth, ministering to God's people. He was just moving. He was doing his earthly ministry. So when, when people from the synagogue, when Jairus, uh, men from Jairus' house, when they came and spoke, Jesus was side by side standing and he was able to hear everything. Now, also he can hear, but there is a system called prayer. Praise the Lord. So there is a system called prayer which in fact is endorsed by God. God is the one who has, you know, uh, founded this system called prayer. Okay. I would rather say movement called prayer. Prayer is a movement. So make sure from now on, whatever you are hearing, whatever you are hearing. Make sure that, you know, you make it a point that you intimate everything to God. Praise the Lord. Whatever the crisis or whatever, you know, people talk about you or whatever the challenges that you are hearing, I want to tell you, Please allow God to listen, to hear to what you are hearing. Because that makes a big, a big change. That brings about a great transformation. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it all started when the Bible says, uh, Jairus. Jairus approached Jesus. Jairus approached Jesus and uh, he asked Jesus to come, to accompany him and, uh, you know, uh, to pray, to pray. See, it is there in the 41st uh, verse of Luke chapter 8. And behold, there came a man named Jairus and he was the ruler of the synagogue. And he fell down at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house. See the kind of determination. So he was determined 
when he started from his house, he was so determined that he will not go back alone. He will go back only with Jesus. He was so determined. And so he came and he fell down at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house. So at this point, at this point, the faith of Jairus was well working. It was well or very much active. He believed that, you know, if Jesus could just come with him to his house, he believes that, you know, something definitely drastic would definitely happen. Some drastic thing, some change. So with that faith, he's just begging to Jesus for he had an only daughter about 12 years of age and she was dying. But as he went, the multitudes throng him. So, you know, probably without any hesitation, the Lord was in. And said, okay, let's go, come on. And on the way, there was a delay. There was a delay. This delay was not a planned delay, but it's a delay. Because someone also who, who was having a problem for 12 years was, you know, on the way. Jairus was not aware of this. Probably if he was aware of this, he would have taken Jesus to, to some other route. Okay. So anyway, Jesus and Jairus is just walking. Jairus' heart is full of expectation. And he's so happy now because Jesus has given his consent to go with him. So he's so happy. And as they were going, there is now a delay. A delay. You know, I want to tell you, I want to tell you, almost all of you are facing a situation like this. You know for sure, the faith that is in you says, that the Lord will definitely do a wonder. The moment he steps into your situation, there's going to be a change. But when? How long it's going to take? Because the Jesus whom you are trusting is with you. But along with Jesus, there is a delay. Right? So whenever you feel like, you know, the pinch of the delay, you are praying and you know that the Lord is with you. His presence is felt. He speaks to you through his words. But only thing that bothers is that delay. That unexpected delay. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to tell you, unexpected delays reveal more of God's glory. Praise the Lord. Amen. So unexpected delays reveal more of God's glory and you will be able to see a different Jesus working for you. Praise the Lord. An all-powerful God working for you. So when you encounter an unusual delay, why? The Lord said yes. And we started just then. But why is the delay? Why is the delay? I want to tell you, you know, maybe the reason, whatsoever the reason is, if there is a delay on the way to your miracle, then I want to tell you the miracle is going to be bigger and the glory is going to be greater. Praise the Lord. I mean, so for Jairus, his miracle is just on the way. Praise the Lord. I mean, so I want to tell you, your miracle is on the way. Don't worry about the delay. The one who initiated, the one who's accompanying you will definitely accomplish everything according to his word. Praise the Lord. I mean, he's a mighty God. And, and, you know, so they went, they both went, and 43rd verse 
says, Now a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any came from behind. Came from behind. Praise the Lord. Came from behind. You underline that also. Okay, when Bible says she came from behind, which means not just for Jesus, also for Jairus, right? Right? Imagine they're just walking, let us, let us say, south direction. From north to south, they're just walking. And the Bible says the woman with the issue of blood came from behind, which means she was behind them. She was behind Jesus. She was behind Jairus. And now, you know, she is overtaking and she's touching Jesus, right? So she's overtaking Jairus and she's touching Jesus. So in other words, yes, I know that, you know, God is about to do a miracle and my miracle is just on the way, but someone is overtaking me. Somebody is receiving, overtaking me. In other words, somebody pushes me behind and they overtakes me. So that is what happened here. Sometime, you know, sometime when you are praying for a miracle, somebody might overtake you and receive something. And they may even testify just like this lady. This lady testified. Praise the Lord. I mean, see, imagine the sequence of the events. You know, Jesus says, somebody touch me. And then they are asking, Lord, how you are saying? And he says, because, you know, the power within me, you know, it just released. I felt the release of power. Imagine then what this Jairus would have thought, oh, so my power has gone. So this was the power that was kept for me. Now that he has spent that on the way. Right? Imagine if somebody says, okay, I will come along with you and I will give you, you know, $20,000. And on the way, if they are giving, giving away that $20,000 to somebody else, what would you think? You would think, hey, my money is gone. Who is this fellow? Just overtake, you know, he just overtook my position and now she has grabbed everything and gone. So whatever, whatever confusions, you know, because delay, when you, when you are facing a delay, that delay will, you know, dramatize a lot of things to you. That delay will convey a lot of things to your mind and your mind will be very quick in absorbing. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, what X is saying, what Y is saying, what Z is saying. Yeah, all these things are correct, correct, correct. But you must know the one who has given you the consent, the one who has said yes, will definitely keep his word. And he will surely perform a wonder more than what you were expecting. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, you know, so that's a delay now because of the touch. Before the teacher was troubled, the teacher was touched. Praise God. Amen. So the teacher was touched and the power was released. And the Bible is very clear because it says, uh, touched the border of his garment and immediately a flow of blood stopped. Praise the Lord. What a healing. She tried her best with many doctors, many hospitals, many tests. I don't know to whom I'm prophesying, but I feel in my heart because God changed my message. So somebody is going to be totally healed right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the touch of the Lord 
through this word will be felt right now and that feeling will be you know very very deep and soon after this meeting you will testify that you are healed because i feel the touch is that much strong it's very powerful and so i believe that your miracle is now praise the lord hallelujah and jesus said who touched me when all denied it peter and those with him said master the multitude strong and press you and you say who touched me who touched me but jesus said somebody touched me for i perceived power going out from me praise the lord hallelujah a touch with a purpose will definitely drain power from jesus amen praise the lord praise the lord how much power how much power was needed to make make her well how much power was required for her healing that much was released praise the lord amen so power was released and power was released and made her well instantly so you might be suffering with some kind of illness some kind of medical condition for so many years or so many months you tried your best but the lord says now that my power is been released into your weakness into your weakness into your illness into your suffering the lord says you are made well praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so the moment she received a healing and uh, then the lord said somebody touched me for i perceived power going up from me bible says now when the woman saw that she was not hidden she came trembling and falling down before him she declared to him in the presence of all people the reason she had touched him and how she was healed immediately praise the lord so imagine now you know the one who called him first jairus is more anxious now because you know the delay somehow somehow that's a delay but even after she receiving her miracle the lord is not allowing her the lord is further causing the delay to be more delay right and here she is elaborating her testimony and everybody is rejoicing and then the lord said to her daughter be of good cheer your faith has made you well go in peace praise the lord so whatever the delay that you are facing however critical it might be but still hold on to jesus believe that he will still still perform a wonder praise the lord and so for for jairus in the in the perspective of jairus it's all a delay now he's tensed now he's tensed and to add fuel to the fire now somebody arrives there the small bible says in 49 was while he was still speaking while he was still speaking praise the lord someone came from the ruler of the synagogue's house saying to him your daughter is dead do not trouble the teacher your daughter is dead so just imagine the measure of faith that he had when he invited jesus and the measure of faith that he he he, he can probably have right right at this moment so probably i believe that it's a decline it's like a ground zero decline total decline of faith because that's all that's all 
what more can i expect anyway i was i was you know expecting the miracle to happen to my daughter but somebody's daughter is made well maybe i can just hold that as a piece that's all i came for my daughter but now some other daughter has received a miracle maybe if if only the lord you know would have come directly to my house maybe i would have received the miracle all kinds of thoughts were just going on in his mind and instantly you know see i want to tell you there is a place of silence when we feel that nothing works you know silence and loneliness and all sorts of things are there so he didn't say a word but his mind was speaking millions and millions of words if only if only i would have done that way i would have taken him the other way if only i would have you know i could have taken him through the highway by now somehow we would reach our home and somehow my daughter you know would have been alive all these thoughts were just going on in his mind he was so silent have you ever come across this place where you know you it seems that everything is totally against you i was so happy at the beginning when it all started when jesus came and when jesus said yes without hesitation i was so happy when he was just walking along with me and i was walking along with him i was so happy but all of a sudden all of a sudden it got delayed i don't know whether it's on purpose or not but you know somehow everything ended in a very sad way so this is what he was just thinking in his mind and he could not say a word but the lord instantly spoke and he said that's what we read here you know see uh in the 50th verse but when jesus heard it but when jesus heard it see whatever we hear our mind may come to a lot of conclusions but i want to tell you and encourage you please allow the lord to hear whatever you have heard and after his answer after his reply you can decide what to do for yourself praise the lord Hallelujah. amen so when jesus heard what jairus heard he didn't react the way jairus was reacting in his mind but he reacted in a supernatural way as i said when he when he was there to invite jesus his faith was of great measure but at this point he has hit the zero measure of faith but i want to tell you whenever whenever you come you know to the zero of your faith in your life you must know god takes over the lord takes over from that point onwards it was not jairus who took jesus it was jesus who took jairus so i want to tell you if you are in a desperate situation not knowing what to do how to proceed lord i don't have the faith i don't have the power i don't have the strength i don't even have the will to proceed further then i want to tell you the lord will begin to take over the lord will begin to take over and he will guide you he will guide you praise the lord hallelujah so the lord instantly said do not be afraid only believe and she will be made well praise the lord when he came into the house he permitted no one to go go in except peter james and john and the father and mother of the girl so jesus had to you know 
excavate some i mean somebody some uh, or to say uh, he he ordered them to vacate that place so lot of people who were not connected to her was there in other words people who were distantly connected and the lord distanced all them he just in other words he just kept them away he had only those who are close to her and close to him praise the lord amen so only disciples and that too bible clearly says you know uh these three these three were permitted peter james and john peter james and john and the father and the mother of the girl so sometime you know when you are when you are uh in a place to receive the power of god to receive the miracle you know distance everything that is not closely associated with you allow only god to associate closely keep everything away and keep everyone away because it is time for you to receive something personally praise the lord i mean so he locked he locked uh these people only these people now the problem is there the promise is there the power is going to be demonstrated Amen. praise the lord hallelujah so problem is already there promise is there and power is going to be demonstrated praise the lord amen so where the situation wherever it is it, it it requires the release of god's power the release of god's life i want to tell you there he is very much available for you and he will bring about a great change praise the lord so the miracle that happened inside the house was so vivid and so deliberate so that you know the power the testimony the life that emerged through all these things was so great praise the lord i mean yesterday i was talking to one family and i felt that when they shared a testimony i felt that the testimony was energized certain testimonies you hear you know that will not affect or influence your faith but i want to encourage you you are going to hear or you are going to say share a few testimonies of what god is doing or about to do in your life and those will be energized testimonies hallelujah testimonies with power right. sister rosalyn this is what is going to happen in your house the power of god is going to be released the life of god is going to come in whatever situations that are dry and dead and he will restore everything in such a way that there will be a great testimony energized testimony to share praise the lord amen hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus so you know when somebody dies somebody is dead means it's a news that needs to be uh, announced right needs to be announced it is something that needs to be recorded you know in every nation that's a record but the lord says i am breaking your record i am breaking your record i am you know changing everything i am breaking certain things praise the lord hallelujah sister nandini i am prophesying to you you know get ready i am seeing you in two different levels one i am seeing you in the dress of a lawyer lawyer the dress of a lawyer 
and another one i'm seeing you you know uh, with the government emblem and all so whatever the competitive exams that you are qualified to take just go ahead god is going to bless you he's going to bless you he's going to establish you in place of authority authority you know i i saw you like a a, a lawyer like that the interpretation of it is that you will be uh, placed in law enforcement place of authority so I, i strongly believe that god is going to equip you and position you for the glory of god's kingdom praise the lord see when hannah was barren she prayed a, a prayer that is so fantastic she prayed lord if you give me a son i will give him back to you so one prayer two things are solved one no more people can call me barren the second thing the need of the hour is also met because god was in need of a boy to be raised in his presence to become the mouthpiece of god so pray like that lord elevate me establish me in place of authority and i will definitely serve your kingdom praise the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. so i strongly believe you know maybe you are totally drained you know you have come to a place where you are totally drained there's no faith yes i i had faith when i started this one but now i don't have faith but the lord says hereafter from now on it is me who's going to lead you it is me who's going to bless you it is me who's going to give you victory it is me who's going to restore everything to you praise the lord i mean so don't worry that you don't have faith don't worry that you don't have any power you don't even have any idea any clue how to go about anything any more further because you know the news that you have heard has put a stop the news that you have heard you know has has definitely affected you you know it simply says there's no hope that's all it's all done that's all just accept the reality but the lord said no because because you made me hear what you have heard i am changing the verdict i am changing everything i am going to breathe life in praise the lord amen so with god everything is possible and so that is what we see when the lord entered there you know he simply said little girl arise it is because he said do not weep she is not dead but sleeping but sleeping if i ask you where she is sleeping or you know she was dead then you would immediately say she was dead she was not sleeping she was dead but with god with god the author of life he can say such word he, he can uh, you know underestimate the state of death the lord is just underestimating the state of death the lord say hey, no 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 to me for me she's just sleeping she's just sleeping you all are believing she's dead but i'm underestimating that death and because i have the power to do so he has the power to do so and uh, then he says arise arise praise the lord i'm a little girl arise so he not only saw death as a sleep but he also acted that way he only said you know this is how we just uh ask someone to get up from bed right that's what he's saying little girl arise that's all and bible says then her spirit returned and she rose immediately and she and he commanded that she be given something to eat and her parents were astonished 
but he charged them to tell no one what had happened. It's like a challenge. Okay, now if you want to conceal this miracle, you can try your best. Praise the Lord. Is it possible? You know, when the whole world outside is saying that his daughter is dead, and now that they are going to come out all of a sudden, you know, along with Jesus, that she's going to stand, and how can anyone, how can anyone, you know, conceal it? How can anyone conceal it? I want to tell you, this is how it is going to be for you. Even if you wish, you cannot conceal. That, that is how, you know, that much intense is going to be his power that's going to be released over your life. Praise the Lord. Amen. You cannot hide it. You cannot deny it. It is going to be that much powerful and the name of the Lord will be glorified. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I strongly believe that you are in a point, you know, where you are not able to proceed. You don't have the faith to go forward. You don't have the power to go forward because of something that you have heard. Something you have heard. And this day the Lord says, please allow God to hear what you have heard because he will give you a different answer. Whatever your mind is just saying is not God's answer. He has a different answer. So please allow God to hear what you have heard. And then you'll be able to see, you know, dead things being transformed to life. Praise the Lord. With God, everything is possible. Let us close our eyes and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise your holy name. Lord, if you can change the message, I strongly believe that as you have changed, you have a greater plan for these precious people. And that plan includes a change of plan. A change of plan. Whatever they are thinking is not what you're going to do. Lord Master, whatever has put them on a standstill, instantly when you begin to speak that gives life and that revives us that helps us to proceed in the direction that you want us to proceed Lord I pray and I bless each and every individual whatever the measure of faith that they have lost I pray you restore a double portion of faith O Lord you restore a double portion of power and Lord Master, from that point onwards, as you led Jairus, I pray that you lead these precious people into their situation, troubled situation, into the troubled waters. And Lord, be merciful and do a miracle. Amen. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. The ambience of miracle, the ambience of abundance of life is to have only people that are closely associated, that are close. Yes, my Lord. Rest of all of this, distant relatives, all of this were sent out. In that same way, the Lord wants to create an ambience for your miracle. Praise the Lord. Yes, my Lord. He wants to acknowledge those who were really close. Those who are really burdened, those who are really, really, really in tears. He wants to perform this wonder in their presence. And also he wants to have the three of the disciples who he was training and designing to be the pillars of the early church. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For someone to have the feeling, for someone to learn. Yes, my Lord. And in that ambience, the Lord performed the wonder just by speaking to her, raising her from her bed. Just like raising her from the bed, the Lord was raising her from the dead. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray and I bless these precious people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I bless them, O Lord. I bless them, O Lord. Yes, my Lord. Hallelujah. In your presence, in your presence, in the presence of the fullness of life, 
Lord, in your presence, nothing can snatch away anything that is ours. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because you have the will and the power to cause anything to return. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bless everyone, O oh Lord. Be with them, O oh Lord. Let them be energized and let them share testimonies that will carry power to edify people. Bless them, O oh Lord. Great is your faithfulness, O oh Lord. And we thank you for your faithfulness and for your love. We give glory to you. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.